Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. In, in a previous reaction video, someone asked me to do some reactions to Styropyro content. And Styropyro has some great content. And in, he is a chemist. He has a degree in chemistry. But a lot of his content is about lasers and physics. And candidly, that, that's not really in my wheelhouse. But I did find an older video, 16 years old, an older video that he made that was a little bit more chemistry centric. So I, I'm going to react to that video. Um, you know, 16 years, he has videos that are 18 years old. So he is truly an OG of the YouTube platform. But let's, let's go ahead and take a look at this video that he, he put up on the platform. Okay, here we go. How to hollow out a penny by Styro Pyro. So you need a few pennies dated after 1982. What's so special about 1982? Well, the U.S. Mint in 1982 decided to change the composition of the penny. The problem was pennies were too expensive to make. Pennies at the time were made from 95% copper and 5% zinc. And it was a, it was a uniform alloy. Uh, it was solid, that homogeneous substance, 95% copper, 5% zinc. But copper was expensive. And to, to address this problem in 1982, the U.S. Mint started making pennies out of 97.5% zinc, mostly zinc, only 2.5% copper. And the way they pulled this off, the, the problem was you can't make that alloy and have it look like a penny. So what they did was they said, we'll just take a piece of zinc and we'll cover it with a little bit of copper, a thin film of copper. And so it'll still look like a copper penny, and, and it does. So that's how they got around this. This happened in 1982. So if you want to do this experiment, get a newer penny after 1982, not before 1982. Okay, pennies, we need something to do this in. This is our, our reaction vessel. And then we need muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid. In the laboratory, concentrated hydrochloric acid is 37% HCl. Muriatic acid is still plenty concentrated, but it's a little less so, about 30% hydrochloric acid. Uh, what's this good for? It's really good for things like cleaning concrete, and that's why you can buy it in places like hardware stores. Now, uh, this is an older video, about 16 years old. At the time, maybe it was $3 a gallon. Today, it's closer to $10 a gallon. But you, this is available at almost any big box hardware store. Okay, and some sandpaper. Now, I have the, I have the audio off. Uh, but this, there is a little ASMR, a little scraping on the sandpaper. And so he's scraping through that, that two and a half percent coating of copper on the zinc. And it, it's pretty thin. So sandpaper is more than up to this challenge. So scrape, scrape, scrape until you see the silver colored metal that is zinc. Zinc is kind of a silvery metal. And you can see it sort of in that picture as it moves around. There is a silver edge. Okay, so we're going to take these pennies, put them in the container, and now he's going to add this muriatic acid. Now remember, this is HCl. This is nasty stuff. 30% is not to be trifled with. So he's got gloves. He says he has safety glasses. Maybe you'd wear, wear an apron because muriatic acid, it'll mess up your skin, it'll mess up your eyes, and it'll certainly mess up your clothes. So be careful with these concentrated acids. Now, as he pours this in, I want you to see how the how the acid which is very similar to the flow of water how this acid flows into this container i mean he's got that thing tilted up at like a 45 degree angle and it's barely coming out so muriatic acid is sold much like ketchup is sold ketchup has kind of a little they put a little uh foil seal on the ketchup to, for, you know, for freshness. So before you use the ketchup, you have to open that up to get the ketchup out. Muriatic acid is sold the same way. There's a seal that's put on top to make sure it doesn't leak out because it's kind of dangerous. So you put that seal on there. When you're ready to use it, you can break that seal and open it up. My, my guess is instead of removing that seal, Styropyro has simply punched a hole in the seal. And that A, doesn't let the liquid come out very easily, and B, it doesn't let air kind of backfill and vent, vent the container as he's removing that liquid. So that's why he's getting kind of a sloppy mess. I, I think that's why. But eventually he gets enough. Okay, so 
Now this is reacting. So let's zoom in on those pennies. Let's see them, styro, pyro. Okay, there they are. Let's pause. So you can see bubbles around those pennies. Acid reacts with many metals. Uh, many metals, including zinc, but not copper. So copper is more resistant to acids, much like silver and gold are more resistant to many acids. And so this is not reacting. Um, the copper is not reacting, but that zinc core is reacting with the acid and it reacts with acid to form hydrogen gas. And that's what those bubbles are. So this just takes a little bit of time to react. Note that zinc doesn't disappear. It's going to go off of that penny, but it doesn't just vanish. Instead, it gets converted from zinc zero, which is metallic zinc, oxidation state of zero, to zinc plus two after it reacts with the acid. And those zinc ions, those plus two ions, are soluble in this acid and water medium. And so all this stuff gets pulled out of the middle of that penny, leaving only the copper. Okay, fizz, fizz, react. I'm guessing we're six hours later. He's going to dump off this uh, liquid. This is, I'm sure there's plenty of acid in here. So careful with this. And he's going to collect those pennies. Those, I call them pennies now. That's, it's just pieces of copper because there's no zinc left in them. Now he's going to, let's pause here. This is baking soda. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. It's a very weak base. He's going to use this weak base to neutralize any residual acid that's, that's left over after this process. And he's going to pour it in this nice Snoopy glass. I, I, I can't but be a little nostalgic on this. When I was a, a young kid in, uh, not super young, but youngish in the 1980s, fast food restaurants would often do collaborations with different movies that were coming out and they would issue collector glasses. So there was a Snoopy movie in the 1980s and McDonald's put out a set of Snoopy glasses and we had a couple of them. So I see this Snoopy thing glass and I just think, oh, that's, you know, I could be drinking orange juice out of that as a kid because that's the kind of thing we had in our house. So anyway, enough nostalgia. We're trying to neutralize some acid here with this sodium bicarbonate solution. Okay, chuck in your pennies. Kaplunk, kaplunk. He's going to mix those around, kind of, a little half-hearted swirl. That's okay. That neutralizes the acid. Now dry everything off and you get just a coating of a penny. I'm going to stop the video there or basically there. No, note that this is well, let, let, let's go back to his, uh, his text. Um, dry them off. Now you have a penny that looks like foil. So we have, all we have left is that two and a half percent coating of copper of that zinc. So this, uh, of that, from that zinc that was in the penny, this is very light. He says they even almost kind of float to the ground. They're so light, very thin layer of copper very light remnant since all the zinc is gone. Zinc is 97.5% of the weight of that penny. So that's that's the video. Uh, thank you to Styro Pyro for sharing this content. Thanks to you for your attention. If you have other videos you'd like me to react to, and, and I think they're within my expertise and I have something to contribute to that, then please share that in the comments. Um, in the meantime, take care.